Bonaboni Haluale, you've been at the forefront uh, in questioning what governors and how governors have been spending money. You've been also complaining of the fact that uh, ac the judiciary especially does not seem to be taking action against these governors. What do you have to say about the fact that for the very first time we have a governor behind bars? Uh, I think two points to confirm. The first one is that we are hoping that the goodwill by the president towards fighting corruption is going to be reflected in the entire chain of the judicial criminal system. Mm -hmm. Because unless it works like a team, it breaks at one point and the thieves will go scot-free. Mm -hmm. Meaning, the investigative uh, arm of government seems to have done its work. It has gone to the next level, the judiciary. The judiciary should also be able to be up to it. Mm -hmm for us to get the, uh, the expected end product. The second point to make is that I note with a lot of pleasure that this action is in respect of the financial year 2014-2015. Mm -hmm. If this is the case, then I can formally tell, uh, comfortably tell Kenyans that you haven't seen nothing yet. Should we expect because to see more governors being arraigned? Yes, because what they are pursuing the governor on is just one of the little things that I saw when I was chairing the committee. Mm -hmm. There are bigger things in respect of your best governor, and in some of the instances... Well, when you say best governor, who do you mean? I, I am telling one NG, wherever mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. that they look at their guys and they say, these are our best leaders. Okay. So there are big things coming, and they should expect more heads to roll. I will not be surprised. and. We were sitting on the same committee with uh, my brother here. I will not be surprised if not less than 10 governors will go to court. 10 governors? Oh, you're talking also about former governors. Uh, uh, t uh, uh, 10 f governors of the first generation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first generation governors. Mm -hmm. they, they are not be surprised if they go to court. Wow. Because this one of Ojamong is actually one of the small ones that we looked at. Mm -hmm. Uh, we we have on record, and uh, uh, we, we one can easily refer to it. Uh, we have on record uh, bigger scandals, uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that I don't look like I'm going personal. But uh, we have cases like in Kakamega, where 200 million that was just shared by members of the county government, money that was meant to go and pay off farmers in Mumias. All those things are going to come. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, Senator Matangi, it, uh, of course, we have to <coughs> maintain uh, the fact and clarify that uh, uh, Sospito Jamong has denied these allegations and is still uh, considered innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. But the fact that uh, a city governor has spent a night behind bars, yeah. uh, that sends a message, mm. uh, even in terms of just perception, in terms of fighting corruptions because, co corruption, rather, because senators for a long time have been saying that these governors appear untouchable. Right. Yes. Uh, yes, Fred. And uh, first, let me say welcome. Well, <laughs> uh, <thank> welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> hey, it's good to be back. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, of course, you should be the one welcoming, as we found you here. <laughs> but uh, you've been you've been missing in action for for a while. This is my time to leave. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's move on, Senator. Yes, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> Fred, <laughs> it's good to host you, gentlemen. <laughs> Fred, you know. Um, uh, it, it, it's in our, in our African culture, we don't uh, cherish when uh, one is in trouble <laughs> or when they suffer, but um, it, it's important to say uh, that, uh, yes, the, the, the incarceration of the governor for Busia is, 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 a, is a big lesson in, 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 in the real man fight against corruption, especially as governors are concerned, because you know, most of the time, and you have put it very, very well, uh, for the first few years uh, since devolution 2013 up to 2017, very many governors failed to take seriously uh, the cause of their responsibility or the, or the intent and, and um, their, uh, their, their purpose, for that matter, in office and reasons why they should be accountable. Let me put it that way. I, 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 was, I was looking for fair words, not yeah. to be very harsh. <laughs> <laughs> to because, you see, I, I sat with Bonnie, in, uh, in, and he actually he was uh, my chairman then in the Public Accounts Committee. And we listened to so many governors. And the first two years, I will tell you, Fred, 2013, 2014, and onwards actually to 2014, 2015, 
there, there were like uh, a classroom for governors when they would come to the committee. Mm -hmm. And uh, because Bonnie Halole has a lot of experience in uh, public accounts, uh, owing to his uh, previous ex experiences, even in the National Assembly, we were treating them, those sessions like educative and, 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 and uh, you know, in the, the governors have no clue what to do. And, 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 and we, <laughs> we took them through so that they could learn what they're supposed to do mm -hmm. and then from there pick up the responsibility. But unfortunately, most of them never did. And if you look at, uh, Fred, the queries that we have in the year 2017, 2018, mm -hmm. 2016, 2017, they are similar, they are akin, they are worse mm -hmm. than the way they were in 2013, 2014. Whereas you find that some governors then, the queries you find like Governor Ojamong, uh, the case that he's been uh, taken to court for is, is, is uh, worth about 8 million. Now, if you look at the queries in 2016, 17, you will find now it is in billions <coughs> across counties. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, uh, most of, of, of these cases you are seeing is actually now what again reverts back to what we are calling uh, pending bills. Uh, because, you know, they go procure, get a bit of money, pay mm -hmm. maybe partially, and then leave the rest. And, and as is evident, evident right now uh, from the reports from uh, ITGRC, the current pending bills are in excess of 100 billion. Mm -hmm. So you, 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 be, you, 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 you can imagine then what is the magnitude of, 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 mm -hmm. of these monies. You saw the other day, and, and, and even as Governor Ojamong is in court, you ask yourself very many questions. You saw a case where a lawyer had claimed almost a billion in from one of county. the counties, yes. from a county, only for that bill to be revised downwards to less than a mid to about a million shillings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you ask yourself, <laughs> if if that bill had been passed by a government to be paid, what was happening? And and that is how bad it is okay. within counties. I I, I hope that um, as a way forward, that, that governors can now uh, refocus, that they can they can now own up to the responsibility that they have been bestowed by the, upon them by the Constitution. Mm -hmm. and, and especially prudence in management and usage of public finance according to yes. the, 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 the law. D does this embolden you now as a senator? Because uh, previously you appeared uh, helpless. You mm -hmm. uh, summoned uh, governors, they failed to show up, you, uh, and nothing seemed to happen. I remember a point in time when a few arrest warrants were issued against governors and none was executed. This yes. time around we're seeing one governor arrested, arraigned, and actually uh, remanded behind police, uh, remanded in custody. Well, uh, does this embolden you now that uh, your role is to oversight uh, these counties? Well, I mean, you just say it's still, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, a, it, it's an enactment. It, 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 it's really uh, a revelation of the same uh, principle and truth that co choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. you, ch you, you choose to be responsible, you choose to be accountable, then you're all right. You choose not to, then there will be consequences. Okay. What do you think has changed? Is it the fact that we have a new DPP in place? Uh, now that you're seeing arrests happening, uh, NYS season two, uh, the arrests happen pretty fast. No, what has changed, eh, as we have argued previously, is that to sort out corruption, the goodwill must come from the head of state. Mm -hmm. The moment the president demonstrated that he wants action on corruption, then all officers will follow suit. Yes. I'm quite sure if the president had uh, put his foot down a little bit earlier, even the former DPP, Tobiko, mm -hmm. would have taken action. Okay. Uh, but all the same, uh, we still have to congratulate young Haji. Uh, he's uh, moving in the right direction. The issue raised by my colleague here, about my former colleague, uh, about um, pending bills, members of the public must appreciate that there is no room for pending bills. Mm -hmm under the new law, under the Public Management Act, uh, uh, the Public Finance Management Act, there's no room mm -hmm. for pending bills. You have because to it bills. means, uh, it states that before you award a contract, the budget must be there. Yes. So if the budget is there, you're only waiting for implementation, uh, completion certificates, then you'll pay against them. Mm -hmm. The fact that we have got pending bills means that possibly uh, the money that was supposed to pay for those, the, the budget that was there for those projects mm -hmm. has been put to some other uh, use by mm -hmm. the governors, usually 
uh, things that uh, they used to pursue uh, personal lifestyle interests and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's very interesting, and of course, we await uh, that decision tomorrow on whether or not uh, Sospito Jamong, the, co the county boss <coughs> for Busia, alongside nine others, will be granted bail.